So here's a problem I had. I had my two favorite rectangular sleeping bags ever stolen out of the Lance trailer last month. There were two Slumberjack bags, Qualifil insulation, rated to 20 degrees, one of them. The other one rated down to supposedly zero degrees Fahrenheit. The thieves took them. Why in the hell would you take sleeping bags that are from the early 1990s? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, maybe they have really good outdoor equipment taste because those sleeping bags were amazing. And when I saw they'd been taken, I was very sad because I knew I could not replace them exactly. Like all outdoor equipment, sleeping bag models come and go very quickly. I went on a hunt to find the best replacement I could for those sleeping bags for van use and trailer use, not for backpacking use. This thing is too big, too heavy, too bulky to ever go backpacking with. This is what I come up with. I'm going to get the word out. Filming with my iPhone. High production quality as always. <laughs> this is the Coleman Big Basin 15. Mostly rectangular sleeping bag. Why did I go with a rectangular sleeping bag? Well, if I'm not backpacking, then SAWC is really not super critical. Right, If you're truck camping, van camping, RV camping, it's not super critical. So be comfortable. I don't like being in a mummy bag or even a hybrid bag if I don't have to be. And so I went on the hunt to replace the Slumberjacks with a big roomy bag. Now that, that's what you need to understand about this particular sleeping bag. It's meant for big dudes. I'm 6'3", 220 pounds. I need something that fits me. If you're small, like five and a half feet, you'll be swimming in this thing. <laughs> swimming in it. Uh, probably not the best choice. But if you're big, tall, maybe, maybe have some extra weight around you. We all have that, by the way. Uh, it'll be a comfortable bag. And it's one that you can roll around in, be comfortable in, and yes, be warm in. I've taken this bag in the van down to about, not super cold, maybe 35 degrees. And I try not to run the engine very much because the Biden gas is just too expensive right now. So I needed a good sleeping bag and it works. It's comfortable, roomy, uh, lots of great features on it. I love the fabric they use on the top. It's kind of a rip stop style of fabric. Let me show you this right here. You see that? And I'll roll in some inset video from Amazon. That's where I bought this one from. I'll have a link below. Really cool colorations on it. So black, steel blue, gray on the top. This is the interior right here. It has a left-hand oriented zipper. I do kind of wish the zipper was on the right-hand side, but it works okay. Notice this too. You have a fleeced line foot area right here. Very nice, very comfortable. The insulation is a hollow core polyester. Maybe Holofill 808, they didn't really specify. It's not super lightweight and it's not really compressible. So that is pretty much a characteristic that I have found of a Holofill style of fabric, not fabric, but insulation. So this isn't going to roll up super small. Once again, it's a bulky car camping bag or base camp bag. But in this philosophy of use, that's exactly what I wanted. Now, this is kind of cool too. These are called plow zips. I haven't, or zip plows. I haven't had these before. And so they have kind of a plastic plow on them that's supposed to move the draft tube out of the way as you zip. And it works pretty good. I wouldn't say it's like flawless as you zip this. I have this one unzipped, but it's better than anything I've found so far. So here's your draft tube here, also insulated. So it keeps that wind from coming in if you're in a windy tent or something. Standard zipper. So it's not one of those big tooth zippers. Uh, this is, And that's appropriate for this bag. You don't want something uh, probably different than what's on there right now. And notice they have two zipper tracks on it. You have one going down the body. Again, left-hand oriented. And you have one going around the foot. The idea of this is that if you're too warm, you can unzip your foot area and get ventilation coming in through the bottom of the bag. That's what that's about. Now, one thing I kind of wish this bag had 
was a format identical to my Slumberjack bags. And that is a complete uh, rectangular format. In other words, I don't have a hood on it. I just have a rectangular format. And that way I can zip two of them together to create like a big blanket. And I used to do the, that with my Slumberjack bags, who the thieves are probably enjoying right now. <laughs> this one obviously has a really nice hood on it, actually. It can fit a pillow in there. Not that big of a pillow, but a smaller pillow you can fit in there. And it does keep warmth in. It does have a drawstring right here around the hood. So all that's good. But one thing I do is I'll like stack pillows like I do here, like when I'm doing TMP work. And I'll, I'll come up against it like that. And I also sleep that way too, because sometimes I get reflux. Maybe you have the same issue. And when I'm like this, it's a little bit slippery, of course, and it's just falling down. I wish it was just completely rectangular so I could stack pillows inside and leave this portion on the bottom if that makes any sense at all. But it's still pretty good. I still like it. Um, this is a Velcro closure for the hood. Then we just have a lightweight nylon taffeta inside. Comfort wise, I think it's a comfortable bag. I wouldn't say it's as quite as good as my uh, Slumberjack bags were because uh, the insulation they're using on it doesn't really have that that great of drapeability. And a good example of this would be a quali not qual yeah, I guess Qualifil, but also Prima Loft is what I'm thinking of. Something that's really down-like and it just drapes over your body. This is a little bit more stiffer. Plenty warm though, plenty warm. And for the price, yeah, totally recommended. Um, comfortable bag though, and I love how roomy it is. Really nice and roomy. Now, another thing I wish... Uh, getting back to what I said about the rectangular format, if I were to unzip it and use it as a blanket, that's another disadvantage of having the hood on. Because while I can unzip it, as you can see here, right? Just like this. And I can use it as a blanket. I have this hood to contend with. What I found is I'll just rotate it around like this. So it's away from my chin. Imagine I'm laying underneath this and no, I'm not going to model it. You don't want to see me. See me in the sleeping bag. That's not good. Like that. And so this is the underside of the blanket. It does work, but a rectangular, pure rectangular format would be a bit better. But for the price, dude, recommend it. If you're looking for a base camp style of sleeping bag for someone who's tall, uh, put it on your list. And if you buy it from Amazon, you don't like it, just send it back. Again, I don't know how long this is going to last. Probably not too long. Either the price is going to go up, availability will wane, and it'll be gone. But here you go. Sleeping bag review. Recommended. Nice and roomy. Plenty warm, although not down to 15 degrees. I would say add 20 degrees with, a, with whatever rating they give you. If it's 15, then this would be comfortable down to 35 degrees. And like I've said, I've tested that. Yep. Here's my EDC for the day. Ruger LCR, believe it or not, 38 Special with plus P rounds. OYI 3T EOS. Cadet knife. Swiss Army uh, Victorinox Classic. I've got some skateboard tape on that. Hap 40 Endura. And that's super cool orange camo. You'll see another one over here on the bedside. That's actually a Pacific Salt Gen 2. Really cool. Really cool. That's LC200 in steel, so I'm testing that. Got an Armor Light Dive Light, Dive Light, Dive Watch there that I've been wearing, Pepper Spray. And then my super cool 511 Two Banger Pouch. And I do have this right here. It's like a Viper Tech stun gun. Works pretty good. Layered defense, layered warmth. There you go. Under 10 minutes sleeping bag review in a hotel room. That fancy project. If you do get this bag, come back. Let me know. Does it work for you? Do you like it? And uh, I might put a couple links to some other bags that are similar that I also like below. Thanks so much. See ya.